Sure, it might have gotten a few nerfs along the way, but the hatchet is still an absolute beast of a weapon. Here at The Gamer, we are big fans of the hatchet. I'm Shailen Cotton, here to cover the best hatchet builds in New World. New World's classless system can be tough to navigate for MMORPG fans new to the game. We're here to make a case for why the hatchet should be your first choice of a weapon build. No matter what weapon you choose to partner up with the hatchet, be sure that you're spending your attribute points primarily in strength, followed by dexterity. You're looking for speed and power. In that same line, ditch the heavy armor for something more medium. Berserker mode won't do you much good if you're over in Cucumbered. What can't the hatchet do? Its Berserker Mastery Tree gives you speed and health regen, while the Throwing Mastery tacks on long-range attacks. It's hard to go wrong choosing which skills to specialize in, but before you go ticking off passives all willy-nilly, let's take a look at what weapons vary best with the hatchet. For PvE, you're going to want to invest in the hatchet and bow build. This is a great build for leveling, keeping you light on your toes with a heavy hitting swing. For hatchet and bow, look to fill out your Berserker mastery tree. After all, there's not much use in spending points on throwing when you have a bow. For skills, pick up Berserk, Barrel Rush, and Raging Torrent. As far as passives go, we recommend On the Hunt, Uninterruptible Berserk, Dispatch, Crippling Strikes, Aggressive Approach, and Final Blow. Altogether, these skills transform you into a whirling devil, practically unstoppable. As for your bow, we recommend picking up the Evade Shot, Poison Shot, and Penetrating Shot skills. With this combination at the right distance, you can easily open a fight with the Penetrating Shot, followed by a Poison Shot, then finish it off with an Evade Shot before your enemy has fully closed the distance. For passives, put your points into Evasive Knockback, Go the Distance, Infected Arrows, Direct Hit, Blood Soaked Arrow, and Deep Strike. If raw power is more your style, may I humbly introduce you to the Hatchet and Great Axe build. This build is especially ideal for PvP due to its area of effect damage. Here, you can choose to use your Hatchet's throwing ability to draw enemies in, but once you have the Great Axe's Reap ability, you won't really need to. The same skills and passes we suggest for the Hatchet and the Hatchet and Bow build will still work great for the Hatchet here. When it comes to the Great Axe, we highly suggest you pick up the Reap, Charge, and Maelstrom skills. For passives, check out Hunger, Fiddle Attraction, Frenzied Momentum, Storm's Reach, and No Reprieve. The Great Axe excels in putting out massive loads of damage on groups of enemies. Pull mobs in with Reap, then lay into them with Maelstrom and Berserk. With the Hunger passive for Reap, you can get even more self-sustain on top of the Health Regen passive for Berserk. Do you feel like an unstoppable force of nature yet? For more guides on new world builds, tips, and more, be sure to check out thegamer.com. See you guys in the next video.